Hey guys, so day six, we've had a um, great 24 hours. Um, I am um, able to walk away for longer periods of time while Aspen is doing place command. So I am not really in her visual, even though um, I am in the house. When you practice place command, you do not um, want to leave the dog alone in the building. And I was trying different things with her training schedule. So for example, in the beginning, I would help her out a ton and work her or walk her before bed. Since she was having a harder time at night during the day, then she start, you know, she got acclimated and comfortable. She started having trouble during the day as well when I would leave. Yesterday, she did not work early and I left early for a couple of hours. This past 24 hours has been the best 24 hours we've had. Last night, she had a fantastic night. She would get up, basically look out real quick, spin and settle right down. So I took it as a uh, settling herself. She wasn't um, starting to cycle and zero whining. Um, the night before, uh, she's been whining, but the night before last, it was really intense. And um, she would, um, on e collar, round the clock, right, flipping it on a comfort pad and a comfort uh, on a wing. And um, I would tap for that. Numbers, I don't know. Whatever numbers worked to change the behavior. So that's something that you're going to have to play around with and dig with and uh, in order to it, for it to help you repattern. Remember if that if you're overwhelming, it's gonna be a problem, and if you're underwhelming with those numbers, it's gonna be a problem. So make sure that once again, you're incorporating a whole program, um, a training philosophy every single day, and incorporating that because e-collar alone, it's just a tool. It's not gonna take away separation anxiety. You are. Uh, I said it in the beginning, no affection, no couch, no nothing if you really want to get this done. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So that panting gets a tap. And I'm not going to tell you the number because it depends on your dog. It's a very low number. And usually you can tap them into until they shift their hip or until they lay their head down. You say down and tap at the same time. I like to have background noise so they don't hear the clicking of um, the e-collar or say down at the same time and tap. You know what, just for informational purposes, this is a six. It doesn't mean that your dog's gonna be a six. Uh, the lowest digit that changes the behavior and that does not make them remove themselves off of the command. So a digit that's not over overwhelming and not underwhelming because if you go too low and nag 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 you're just uh, not doing anything you're not being effective and if you're not being effective you're not being productive huh so that's what that um, uh, double down looks like and tapping the dog into a better space on an e-collar it takes a lot of repetition but not so much if you've done this in the crate and you've also enforced thresholds and stuff you should see a huge um, difference start rolling in after just about a week or two of um, working the dog depending on how often you're doing it how consistent you are um, some skill set is involved with that obviously okay and that's what we're looking for that head down no panting going to relax mode and go to sleep